Hello and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 8th of October 2021 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we get towards the end of the week here, what do you need to be aware of? Well first of all, hedge funds and money managers in the last week, they have increased their overall net long position on silver by 1%. So of those hedge funds and money managers that have a position on silver, 52% are currently long. So far over the month of August, silver prices, they're up 2.5%. We saw that very typical inflow come in right at the beginning of a new quarter on Friday, the 1st of October. Slingshot move higher for silver, breaking out over 100 points. This has also been followed by the typical selling pressure that you get from Monday through to Thursday with China off on their one week public holidays for golden week. And with that, Every single evening during the Asia Pacific session, we have seen gold and silver under pressure, but that does give you an opportunity to buy in at lower prices. We're seeing that regular daily cycle of gold and silver getting a bid during the London session and during the US session, and then essentially selling pressure comes in again during the Asia Pacific session. Now, normally all of this does change later on in the week with China back from their public holidays on Thursday. In fact, we've already capitalized on this by building into new positions on platinum, on copper, and palladium over the last 24 hours, which has delivered us over 1,500 points profit over those three trades. We've banked 1,000 points profit on palladium, we've banked 400 points on platinum, and we've banked over 100 points on copper. So of course, for every one lot contract that you'd be trading for 1,500 points profit, that's $15,000 of profit. And for every 10 lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $150,000 of profit. Now this has all worked out perfectly within the usual cycles here for buying to come back in towards the end of the week once China do get back from their public holiday We've seen that impulse move for both palladium, platinum and copper over the last 24 hours. Palladium prices up over 5% and that was again a very clear trade opportunity that we identified with you on the week ahead commodity report. Palladium has been massively undervalued trading towards 1,800 US dollars per ounce and on Thursday we broke out to 1,990 US dollars per ounce. We've seen an immense move on that market. Natural gas prices, of course, broke out to seven year highs at the beginning of this week. We were able to bank 650 points profit on that market. So again, for every one lot contract, that's $6,500 profit. For every 10 lot contract, that's $65,000 of profit. Natural gas prices, of course, broke out over 10% at the beginning of the week, breaking out to seven year highs. We covered that in detail with you on the natural gas commodity report as well. So now what to expect between now and the end of the week and as we move into next week. Well on Friday we have non-farm payroll data. This often can be a catalyst for explosive moves on the metals and also drive the US dollar as well. Bear in mind though as we go into next week we have a USA public holiday on Monday. So during thinner liquidity again you can see vulnerability to the metals and especially going through to Tuesday next week I would again watch out for the potential for volatile moves in the market. So essentially right now you want to make sure that you're locking in profits regularly, banking into strength as we've been doing over the last 24 hours on palladium, on platinum, on copper and natural gas really capitalizing on the commodity super cycle and really make sure you maximize these short term macro driven opportunities where you can really capitalize on this volatility. And of course this comes back to utilizing research, data, market intelligence alongside that being aware of the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles for each commodity. Align that to the intermarket correlations in the market, the ratios, the macroeconomics, the fundamentals, the key drivers that will have the biggest impact on the commodity markets and of course align that too with key areas of liquidity and how banks, hedge funds, money managers are positioned in the market that will help you massively to get an edge. So with that if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the professional research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.